Okay, you guys, we're gonna cook dressing today. Today is Christmas. And the first thing you wanna do is make sure you boil your hen or your boneless chicken, whichever. Just use salt and pepper when I'm cooking dressing for my chicken. Sometimes I may put onion in, in there. This particular time I didn't. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, click the notification bell, comment what do you put in your dressing, what kind of dressing you cook, um, comment down below. Don't forget to click that um, notification bell to get notifications every time I post. I post every Sunday, and I'm going to leave an end card above of a video where I made gravy boneless chicken. Watch that video after you get through with this one, okay? Okay, you guys, so the boneless chicken has probably been boiling for about 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do, since it's almost all the way done, I'm going to add some butter to it to soften it up even more. Here you will see me put about maybe one teaspoon to one tablespoon of um, butter. It really don't matter how much butter, you just need some. Yeah, you need at least one teaspoon, so I'm going to say however much butter this is right here. About a tablespoon, I would say. We're going to stick that in there. And let it work in there. You can also rub it on each piece of, um, if you can rub it on each piece of meat. But you don't have to do that because it's going to automatic um, blend in and soften itself. Anyway, so. Just put you one tablespoon of butter in there and let it boil with the rest of the meat. Because at this point, the meat is really done. But what I'm going to do is just let it set for some time until I get the rest of my food ready. I'm going to let it set for about, about maybe 15 to 20 minutes. But I will be turning the stove down. So make sure you turn the stove down to just, you know, a warm setting or so. So, you know, you're going to let everything else cook and then you're going to add this right here to your dressing. Okay, here we are going to make the cornbread for the dressing. And what you do, I'm using the Self Rising Cornmeal Mix. You pour um, about, you want to, hold on, hold on, I'm going to try to push it on here so y'all can see me pour it. I'm making this for one pan of bread. And you just pour enough to, you kind of eyeball it. So I would say about, um, three and a half cups of cornmeal. And then you're going to put two eggs in there. That's my first egg. This is my second egg. Put two eggs in there. And we're going to use buttermilk also. And I'm just using this uh, buttermilk here, just Kroger brand buttermilk. It don't really matter which buttermilk you use. You're going to pour about maybe half a cup of buttermilk in there. And then, of course, you're gonna mix it, start mixing it. And we're gonna come over here to the sink as we mix it. So we're gonna mix it. Mix it until we get like a creamy consistency. So you keep on adding that water after that point until you get like a creamy consistency. That's not the consistency I'm looking for right there. So we're going to add more water to it. Don't forget to preheat your oven to about 325. Put your pan in there. This is the consistency I'm looking for. The kind of watery consistency. Because it don't look watery in here. And then I use the whisker and use a spoon. You can also just use a spoon
to mix it and it will do fine. You can also use the spoon to mix it and it will do just fine. I'll try to show y'all a picture of it in a second. So it's going to look like that when you get to stirring it. It should look something like that. Kind of rich looking, I say. It looks very rich in, um, in how it looks. And I'm going to try to bring the camera up so y'all can get an idea of what I'm talking about. It should look like this when you're done. You're going to let it bake for about... Okay, guys. On this part of the video, I will be showing you how to put together the dressing. Um, So, make sure you like, subscribe, click the notification bell down below. Comment this. We're going to start with the cornbread. It looks like this. It looks really good. And we're just going to, you can pan it in here like this if you want to. It really don't matter. So, you're going to put your cornbread in. Okay. So, yeah, you're going to mash your cornbread up and do all that good stuff. I would do it tight here. Just a little bit of crackers. Probably like, it depends on how big the pan is. You kind of eyeball it. I mean, yeah, how much you're cooking. Then we're going to add cornbread stove topping. This going to give it the flavor, so it really don't matter how the bread tastes. It's still going to be good with the stove topping. Then we have chicken stove topper. Which is the boneless chicken itself or your hen. And mine look like this after uh, it's completed done. You post some of your juice in there. Your water in there from boiling. And then you just add your meat a little at a time and kind of chop it up. If it's not um, wet enough for you, with the water, just put you another thing of like half a pan of uh, water back into your, put half a pan of water back into your uh, pan. And then you set it on the eye. You're gonna set that pan back on the eye and let it boil while you add the rest of your ingredients. Pan, you cut one of everything. However many pans you're doing, that's how many uh, vegetables you cut. Your bell pepper, onion, and celery. So I just got this. And this onion right here is actually too much, so I'm probably gonna use half of this. I started getting the diced yellow onions, the ones that are already cut up. But I can never find just green bell pepper, so I just buy me one bell pepper and put that bell pepper in there. 
But this is bell pepper and celery. And you just spread it all over like such. Then you stir it up. You really can taste it. It's good too. Woo wee! I invite y'all to have some, but that's how it look once you um put it together. It should look exactly like that. About an hour or two, and I'll come and check to make sure it's hot and everything ready. I'm going to let it sit for an hour or two and I'll be back with y'all. Make sure you like, subscribe, click the notification bell to see more cooking videos, DIY videos, just anything you want, just about everything. Camera don't get its justice, baby. <laughs> 